Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. In this season of decorating, some people avoid potential problems with prickly pine needles and opt for plastic versions. Artificial Christmas trees, that is. Newslink Indiana's Alyssa Ivinson looks at how a local live tree lot deals with the competition. Tis the season for buying trees, and artificial trees are red hot. We made a lot of advancements in the trees. Uh, they look full, they look more real, they don't look as fake as they used to years ago. Brian Clifford doesn't just sell them, he wants to buy one. I used to have an artificial tree, and I started getting real ones, but then once I saw the pre-lit ones here in the last couple of years, I really liked them. With artificial tree sales growing, live tree sales at small lots, like the Lions Club fundraiser in Yorktown, could be dying. According to the National Christmas Tree Association, live tree sales dropped 36% in the last three years, while artificial tree sales rose 26%. That's what I'm hearing, and they don't want to tell me that, but I tell them that that's terrible. For 18 years, the Lions Club has been selling 300 live trees for $17 each. Vetus Davis expects to make $7,000 this year. We want to make a little. We don't want to rock people either. Money raised will go toward the group's charity, giving eyeglasses to local children. You get the, the fragrance off the real tree in your house, it smells good. And what's a few needles on the floor? I told my wife probably 15 years ago, that's the end of your artificial tree. We've had a regular tree ever since. Clifford says artificial trees can last up to 20 years, and Davis says putting sugar in a live tree's water can help it live and stay greener longer. In Delaware County, Alyssa Ivinson, Newslink, Indiana. Davis says the Lions Club will sell trees until they're gone. Any extras will be given to those who want trees but can't afford one. Budget cuts means Muncie Mayor Dan Cannon wants to reduce the minimum headcount of the Muncie Fire Department by one. Firefighters Union Local 1348 met at Fire Station 1 tonight to vote on Cannon's proposal. You know, my hopes are that they will agree that, you know, we're going to work for the taxpayers of this community and we've got a little problem here that's not a huge problem that we can work together and resolve. Or they can say, no, they want to work with us, and, and by the book, I've gone through the process to, to get me where I need to be. Cannon says that means he can move forward with the proposal whether firefighters like it or not. Now here's Jennifer Cook with a look at our forecast. Jennifer. Thanks, Chris. Tonight we're going to see the rain that we've seen throughout the day change into a wintry mix when we hit the 32 degree freezing point before the day tomorrow. We're going to see AM snow showers. Then we're going to see them dwindle off to the east. We're going to see afternoon sunshine. High of 41. Chris? Thanks, Jennifer. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us tomorrow morning at 627 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.